Hello there, how are you doing? My name is Keith and I'm Nina. And we are admissions office at Patrick Simic and Asia Pacific University. Um, fun fact, we also graduated at this university. Um, what year did you join, Nina? I joined in 2015, spring. That's, oh, she's making me look old. I joined in 2012, spring, so three years apart. I did not see her at all. Right, so. APU's location, in case you don't know where it is, we are in the southern part of Japan called Kyushu Island and in a city prefecture called Oita. So the way to get to Beppu City where we are located in is from Fukuoka Airport or from uh, Koto, Tokyo, Osaka, you will take like a two hour plane ride. From Fukuoka Airport is a bus ride. And Beppu City is an amazing one. We have a population of about 120,000 people. Of, well, it's not a huge chunk, but a number of those are students. And we are very famous for hot springs. So if you watch a lot of anime, you know what's up. Um, we experience all the four seasons. And uh, some things you should know, um, it is a very safe environment. You can walk around at any point in time. It's a fairly low cost of living as compared to many other places in the first world. And you have a very welcoming com community in this place. Um, if you don't meet anyone, at least you will meet me. Okay, then apart from the city, what about APU? 49.5%, uh, almost 50% of our cohort are international students, and they come from about 92 different countries. Keith, you're from? I'm from Uganda. Okay, I'm from Singapore, <laughs> so very far apart. Um, so we have about students representing about 92 different countries, and including alumni like us, the number of countries represented is about 152. Another special thing is that even though we come from all over the world, we study in APU and 96% of us managed to find job placements before our graduation. As 1st of May 2020, so just a few weeks ago. Um, this is what campus looks like. Um, you've got Ultimate Dance Central over here, the ocean over there, and I mean the sky and ocean blur. But again, fun fact, we are so high up on this hill that could walk through a literal cloud, right? Academics that APU offers. Uh, first of all, we have the APM College, College of International Management, where you study about business. We have four majors, uh, accounting and finance, strategic management and organization, marketing and innovation and economics. One special thing about this college is, is that it's AACSB accredited, and we are the third Japanese university to receive this accreditation, even though there are like 700 universities. Incidentally, Keith studied APM. The first thing I can talk about the AACSB accreditation in Japan is that only two universities offer all their classes in English under with this accreditation, and we are one of them. So something to look forward to. Um, the other college at APU is the College of Asia Pacific Studies. Don't be fooled by the Asia Pacific Studies name. It's very international. Um, you'd be able to study environment and development, culture, society, and media, hospitality and tourism, and international relations and peace studies. Now, a special thing about studying in APU is, with, is because with the 92 different countries represented on campus, you'll be able to have a more diverse approach to your education. Um, Studying about environment and development will not just tie, will not stop in Japan. You'll study about environment in Singapore, in Malaysia, in well, Japan, and Korea, and everywhere around the world that is possible for you. Whatever is available for you will be there. Um, Our faculty is also 50% international. One more thing, um, the, we also have an, we have a, an accreditation we are very proud of here in hospitality, hospitality and tourism. We've got the TEDQAL, this is, that is an accreditation by the United Nations World Tourism Organization. So um, just know that you are in the best hands if you do join the university. A little bit more about education at APU, apart from your majors. You would have to do language education at some point because you are living in Japan and in your first year, if you are a student who is pursuing your entire study in English, you would have to take some compulsory Japanese lessons in your first year. And these le Japanese lessons equip you with the basic skills for you to actually find part-time jobs or even do job search uh, later on in your future. 
and because we have two options for English and Japanese, whichever is your stronger suit, like for example, if you have been studying Japanese all your life, you may of course feel welcome to take all your classes in Japanese. Not just English and Japanese in your year two, if you're really bored with these two, please go ahead and take other languages such as Chinese, Indonesian, Malay, Korean, Spanish, Thai, and Vietnamese. That is that you do not need to know any Japanese to join the university. We are assuming you can't speak any Japanese, but if you can, power to you. Um, global active learning. So um, you don't actually have to stay in a class for your entire time of study at APU. You've got field studies, internships, and academic competitions, things that will earn you credits outside your classes. In addition to that, we also have 152 exchange partners in 49 countries. So that's a number of partners on almost every continent apart from Antarctica. So that is an option for you. Um, as long as you're in your second year, you'll be able to apply for any of these exchange, exchange programs in any of our partner universities. So what, what else do students do apart from studying? We have student activities, such as our student-led organizations. The best thing about these is that if you have a particular interest, you can gather your own friends and come to the student office to make your own circle, as you call them here. And um, we have about 140 organizations ranging from everything from sports to social services. And some circles actually go overseas to do volunteer activities. And apart from our student activities, we also have 14 multicultural weeks every year. Um, this gives each country a spotlight of one week. So you get to see their performances, you get to taste their food, local food, or you get to take pictures and maybe play their local games. Maybe this week might be Vietnam week and next week it might be Indonesian week. So you get to see different countries and different cultures. Oh, we... Mine was Korean week, I guess. I love to see the cucumber performances. They are really cool. Right. Mine was Thai week. They had this spicy eating competition that I never participated in, but it, I loved seeing my face, my friends' faces change color. That was amazing. Um, as an international, as a first year international student in APU, you will be able to live on campus in the dormitory. We call it AP House. And so there are a lot of rooms, and they can be, be able to either have a single room or a shared room. Um, you cannot. Unfortunately, you will not be able to choose one for yourself. The university will choose it for you. But if you have a specific reason for as to why you want a specific kind of room, there is leeway for you to send us an email and tell us why. Right? Um, it's fully furnished. You've got uh, aircon in your room. You've got internet, uh, laundry, um, shopping, and resident assistants like me know us to make sure that you are disciplined. Yeah. <laughs> right. from student activities and studies. Students also might have some particular financial concerns because you are moving to a different country. Uh, we offer a lot of part-time jobs. Uh, as Keith mentioned earlier, there were many, there are many hot springs in Beppu, so there's a really healthy tourist, uh, tourism industry going on in Beppu. And apart from, if you don't want to work in Beppu City, there are multiple jobs available for you on campus. We are not focusing on on-campus part-time jobs, and these uh, offer an hourly wage of about 800 Japanese yen per hour, which is about um, 7.5 7 US dollars. So you can see that there's during the semester and summer. So when you have classes, your number of hours that you can work in a week is limited because attendance for your class is compulsory and important. In your long summer break and spring break, you are welcome to work 40 hours a week. Internet. Most students do part-time jobs on campus, so there is no stigma towards it. Everybody is working. It makes you more independent by the time you graduate, which helps you get a job later, which is what I was going to talk about next. Um, job placement rate is, like Mina mentioned, 96.2% um, before graduation. That's because you've put in all these skills by the time you're graduating. Um, and why do people keep coming to APU? Why are there so many international students? is our scholarships. We offer tuition reduction scholarship in five levels, 30%, 50%, 65%, 80%, and 100%. And this, you pay the remainder of the tuition reduction uh, scholarship that you have been offered. For example, if you get 65%, then you pay 35% of your tuition fees. 
And this piece, uh, this tuition lasts all four years of your study in APU. Um, of course, that uh, given that you maintain a minimum GPA, but as ex-students of APU, we can tell you that that is easy. And uh, from your second year onward, when you have your own GPA at APU, you can use those results to apply for private scholarships uh, to give you more support for your daily living costs. Thank you for joining us. Pleasure speaking to you today. Thank you. Bye.